Japanese here? Sure. Um, so I'm originally from California and um, half Chinese and then the other half is like mixed European, English and uh, Swedish. And I uh, moved to Hong Kong about three years ago and that was the first time I started working in Asia in entertainment. And uh, things were good and stuff like that, not too bad, but when I came to Singapore, I got really, really lucky. So I kind of transitioned my career from Hong Kong to Singapore. And once I got to Singapore, uh, I just met the right people. And next thing I know, I started working for MTV. I mean, it's been like a dream and like a journey that's been amazing so far. So, uh, you know, I was always an actor and when I was young and uh, hosting kind of fell into place. Uh, and the, as I did more and more of hosting, it just kind of felt like it laid it up to this and it all added up to becoming an MTV VJ. So I'm um, just really happy to be where I am. I uh, love being in Singapore and love working with the team at MTV right now. Uh, it'd have to be World Stage. Um, World Stage Live in Malaysia was fantastic. I mean, not only were the artists really cool. I mean, Far East Movement was really, really, really cool guys. Um, Joe Flizzo, Malaysia's own like rapper, was really cool to chill with. Got to know him. Uh, Robin Thicke and EXO. But I think what made World Stage so amazing has to be the audience and the crowd. I mean, 15,000 people out in the audience, screaming, having a great time. I mean, it was literally an experience of a lifetime. And being on stage like that was such a thrill and so much fun. And it was just so, uh, I felt so alive up there that that for sure is like probably the one thing throughout the last year or so that will always, always stick in my mind. Throughout the show, the communication with people uh, in different countries and our audience members who gave me a lot of support, you know, um, even just small things like a tweet saying, hey, really enjoyed this episode or whatever, um, knowing that people were enjoying what we did and knowing that people enjoyed the show um, just made us want to continue and made me want to do more and better things. And so I think that's why this upcoming season is going to be so much fun because after the first season, we got some really awesome feedback from our audience and now we want to make the show even more theirs. Um, we want to make it even more what they want to hear about and, uh, through, and play more of their dedications. And through that, like, I, I just really want to be in communication more and more with the people that are watching our show. And like, you know, I feel like I made a bunch of friends throughout different countries that I haven't been to. Being a part of this show in general has been a personal achievement. I mean, it's my first full television show. Um, that uh, I've ever done and that's been something that I've wanted for a long time and been kind of working towards and so I've done some live event hosting I've done acting um, on stage and a little bit of television but not a show that was regular every week and being on a regular TV show every week and being able to connect with so many people that was a honestly an achievement on its own right that's like check off the list that was a big one and now I just am really excited to see where we can go from here it's it's everything um, it's the way we communicate, it's the way that we share ideas, it's the way that we access entertainment or media. We read our news on, on social media, we uh, talk to our friends on social media, we watch our movies through videos on social media, um, we share these videos together. I mean, it's kind of the way that we are able to come together, honestly, with people you've never met. And that's the coolest part, because it used to be that you only had a social life with the people that you met in real life, right? And so that's the way it works. But now you can expand that number so much more and you can have friends in different places that you've never met, like not met in person, but you've gotten a chance to communicate with online. And so through that, I think social media really has brought people closer together sometimes from different walks of life, different places in the world. And we're all like looking at similar content and sharing ideas back and forth. I think it's just gonna continue expanding our minds and expanding what we think about. Uh, be yourself always, because nobody wants to see someone who's trying to be something else. Um, if you're a dork, be a dork. <laughs> if you love to sing, sing. If you love to do anything, do that, because people want a real person and they want a real VJ that I think you, that you can talk to. Someone you would think, hey, I would like to hang out with that person. Like, I would bring that person into my group of friends and have fun. So one is to be yourself. Um, number two, always keep in mind that what you're doing up there is not really for you. It's for the audience. It's for the people. Like I, we look at ourselves as not servants, but just, I don't know, like some type of avenue for people to access content. So it's not about us being on camera. It's about us showing stuff that people want to see and about us like helping different people see the same stuff and come closer like that. So it's about the audience is the other one. And number three, love what you do. Have fun. You have to enjoy it. 
Um, if you are enjoying it, then uh, it shows. And then if you enjoy it, other people will enjoy it. And then everyone will just thoroughly love what's going on. Yeah, be happy and enjoy your, your life. Well, it's unfortunate, obviously. I think a lot of people were really looking forward to this the last day. Um, I think mostly our thoughts and prayers from MTV go out to anybody who was affected by it. Um, to those people, like, we feel for you, um, and for those who can get better, get better as soon as possible. And for the future of future music festival, um, be safe. Be smart about what you do and take care of each, your friends and take care of each other. The people you go to the festival with, that's your family at the festival. You need to make sure you take care of each other and have safe fun because that can happen. You can have fun that is safe, smart, and uh, in charge of what you're doing. It's got to be my family. Um, I, uh, I see them work very hard for what they do, but not only that, they really enjoy what they do. And so both my parents are teachers, and I see them work hard at educating their students, but they enjoy it. And they work hard because they enjoy it. I think that's the most important part, to love what you do, and because you love what you do, work hard to be the best at it you can be. What's up, guys? Uh, this is VJ Allen from The MTV Show. We are coming back to you guys with another season, brand new season with a lot of new content. Check it out. It premieres on April 5th at 12.30 in Malaysia. You don't want to miss it. And we'll be in communication via Twitter. We'll have a few live Twitter conversations available on April 2nd at 8 p.m., 9 p.m. Tell us what you want to see on the show. It's your show. We can't wait to show it to you.